Notice it says through the sea. It doesn't say you built a bridge so I could walk over the issue at hand. It doesn't say you dug me a tunnel so I could walk underneath. It says you split my problem and you made a path for me through. There's still water on every side. So often as Christians, we think that that problem is just going to go away, that if I'm experiencing trouble, that I must be not on the path that God has for me, but it's, it's the exact opposite of that. If you don't have an enemy at your back, then you're not on the path God has for you. If you don't have water threatening to crash in around you, probably sharks swimming in there. Imagine walking through it. Imagine the fear. Saying at any moment, we don't know what this is, but we're going through. The mentality that we're going through and we're going to praise while we're doing it. You see, the first step is, is not being a slave to that fear, but the next step is, is going through it with an attitude of praise and not anger. Because so often we forfeit our blessing because we have a poor attitude when God is holding our hand and carrying us through our issues and we're mad about it. Father, we thank you that you're in this place. We thank you that we are children of God, that you are a good, good father. We thank you that we're no longer slaves to fear. We will not be paralyzed by fear and remain in inaction. We thank you that you split the sea for our deliverance from Egypt. That you are faithful, the good shepherd to carry us through. We love you, Father, and we honor you in Jesus' name.